Hello, my name is Navdeep Singh and I'm a patient who has beta thalassemia and so I have to give myself shots called Desferol uh, subcutaneously five nights a week. And so I was a little nervous when I first learned of trying to give myself a shot. So I made this video for all of you guys who have thalassemia to be able to learn how to poke yourself properly with Desferol. And so I'm about to show you how to do that. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to grab isopropyl alcohol and you're going to open it. And you want to make your area that you're working on sterile, so you want to pour just alcohol on your table and cleanse like that. The next thing you want to do is gather your supplies. So you're going to need one syringe. I have a 10 cc syringe. You're going to need your medicine, so for, this is Desferol, and then this is going to be sterile water. And then you're going to have your needle, you're going to need a micro pin, you're going to need alcohol, iodine, and your Tagiderm. Before you begin opening your products, you have to make sure to wash your hands with a sterile soap. Now that your hands are clean and you're on a sterile area, you can begin removing the caps of your medicine. So I remove the caps, stop this, and then you can pour alcohol uh, just to make sure that the area on top is sterile. Go ahead and take out your syringe and take out your micro pit pen, micro tip, and you'll have it just like this. And then what you want to do is remove the red cap. And now you have your medicine. So this depends all on your dosage. This will vary for each patient, but what I do is I draw 8 cc's of water and I put it in my 2 grams of Desferol. So I take out 8 cc's of water that's just around 8 cc's and I put it in my 2 grams of Desferol and then I shake after a good while of shaking you can see that it's become clear. So now that's a signal that you're ready to give yourself the medicine. And I withdraw all my medicine out. And then I bring it up to the point. So there's no air anywhere. And flick. So now I have all my medicine in my syringe and to remove it I put on my micro pin again and I unscrew the blue cap. Now I remove my needle out from the packet and I look for this tip and from here I will connect it to the syringe. So I take my syringe and I take my cap and I put it in like this and now I'm going to slowly start to push the medicine in just so I get a prime. Now once I see that drops are coming out of the needle, I know that my medicine is primed. So I have drops now. So it's all the way. And I check to see there's no air bubbles anywhere in the tubing. And now comes time for the fun part. Now you're going to poke yourself with the medicine. So the first thing you're going to do is take your alcohol and open it. Now you have your alcohol pad. And then you're going to find an area of skin that you want. And so I'm going to choose this area. 
for your subcutaneous poke and you're going to wipe it with alcohol and you're going to wait about 30 seconds. After your skin is dry with alcohol you're going to want to take your iodine pad and you're going to want to open your iodine. Now remember if you're allergic to iodine you wouldn't want to do this but I'm not so I'm going to take it out and then again you wipe over the exact same area of skin. You're going to get a little brownish color and this usually takes a little longer to dry than alcohol. So you're going to now wait until this is dry. While it's drying, this is the syringe driver that is going to infuse the medicine in me while I'm sleeping or walking or doing anything. Uh, it's already calibrated to give me 0.5 cc's an hour. So usually it'll take around 8 hours for me to get my medicine. And I'm going to now place my syringe on to the syringe driver. I put it on here and then I fasten it like that. So now the syringe driver is fastened with this syringe and here's my needle. So I have my needle, I have my syringe driver and I have my tachyderm and now it's time to get poked. Alright so now I have my needle I got my iodine covered cleansed so I'm going to remove the cap of the needle and you can see it's just only this big and you grab some fat on your skin and then with the needle you just go one two three ouch and it's in you take your tachyderm and you will place it over the needle like so. So you'll get it like this. And then you can remove your tachyderm and make sure it's fastened. And then with your syringe driver, you have to make sure you turn it on. And you're going to see a flashing light to show that it's working. And then you can just go around and do your daily business. And that's how you give yourself a shot. Thank you.